Portugal trip. The sun was shining bright on the day I arrived in Portugal. I had been looking forward to this trip for months, and I was excited to explore this beautiful country. My plan was to start in Lisbon, then make my way down to the Algarve region in the south. As I stepped out of the airport, I was hit by the warm breeze and the sweet smell of freshly baked pastries. I couldn't wait to indulge in some traditional Portuguese cuisine. I made my way to my hotel in Lisbon, which was located in the heart of the city. The bustling streets were lined with colorful buildings adorned with intricate tiles, and the sound of street performers filled the air. After settling into my hotel room, I decided to take a stroll around the city. I stumbled upon a small cafe and decided to stop for a coffee and a pastel de nata, a delicious Portuguese custard tart. As I sat at the outdoor table, enjoying my snack, I struck up a conversation with the cafe owner. What do you recommend seeing in Lisbon? I asked him. He smiled and replied, You must visit the Castelo do São Jorge. It's a magnificent castle that offers stunning views of the city. Thanks for the recommendation. I said, making a mental note to visit the castle later. After finishing my coffee, I continued my exploration of the city. I wandered through the narrow alleys of the Alfama district, taking in the beautiful architecture and vibrant street art. I stopped to admire the sea cathedral, a majestic church with a towering bell tower. As the day drew to a close, I made my way back to my hotel. I was exhausted from all the walking, but I couldn't wait to see what adventures awaited me in the coming days. The next morning, I woke up early and caught a train to Sintra, a picturesque town located about 30 minutes from Lisbon. Sintra is famous for its fairy tale castles and palaces, and I was eager to explore them all. My first stop was the Quinta da Regalera, a stunning state with beautiful gardens and a mystical grotto. I spent hours exploring the state's many hidden tunnels and secret passages, feeling like I was on a treasure hunt. As I was leaving the state, I overheard a group of tourists discussing the Palacio Nacional do Centra. They were raving about the palace's beautiful rooms and intricate tile work. Intrigued, I decided to check it out for myself. The palace did not disappoint. Its grand halls and elaborate decorations left me in awe. As I was leaving the palace, I ran into a friendly couple from Brazil. We struck up a conversation and ended up spending the rest of the day exploring Sintra together. Over lunch, they told me about their plans to visit the Algarve region, and I shared my own itinerary with them. We exchanged tips and recommendations, and I was grateful for their insights. As the sun began to sit, we said our goodbyes and parted ways. I headed back to Lisbon, exhausted but happy from the day's adventures. The next morning, I rented a car and drove south to the Algarve region. 
The drive was breathtaking with stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean and the rugged coastline. I arrived in Lagos, a charming coastal town with narrow streets and colorful buildings. I checked into my hotel, which was located just a short walk from the beach. As I was settling into my room, I heard a knock on the door. It was the hotel manager who had come to welcome me and offer some suggestions for things to do in the area. Have you heard of the Benagil Sea Cave? He asked me. No, I haven't. I replied, curious. It's a beautiful cave with crystal clear waters and stunning rock formations. You can only access it by boat, but it's definitely worth the trip. He handed me a brochure with information about local boat tours, and I thanked him for the recommendation. The next morning, I woke up early and headed to the marina to book a tour of the Penagil Sea Cave. The tour was amazing, with breathtaking views of the coastline and the cave's natural beauty. As I was getting off the boat, I heard a group of people speaking Spanish. I struck up a conversation with them and learned that they were from Argentina. They recommended that I visit Praia do Camilo, a nearby beach with stunning cliffs and crystal clear waters. I decided to take their advice and hit it there next. The beach was breathtaking with turquoise waters and golden sand. I spent the day soaking up the sun and swimming in the warm waters. As the day drew to a close, I headed back to my hotel, tired but happy from the day's adventures. The next day, I decided to take a day trip to Sagres, a small town located at the southwestern tip of Portugal. Sagres is known for its stunning cliffs and world-class surfing beaches. I rented a surfboard and spent the day riding the waves and enjoying the beautiful scenery. As the sun began to sit, I sat on the cliffs and watched the orange and pink hues paint the sky. As I was getting ready to hit back to Lagos, I struck up a conversation with a local surfer. He told me about a hidden beach that only locals know about and offered to show me the way. We hiked through the cliffs and arrived at a secluded cove with white sand and crystal clear waters. I spent the rest of the evening swimming and relaxing on the beach, feeling grateful for the unexpected adventure. The rest of my trip was filled with more adventures and memorable experiences. I visited the historic city of Faro, explored the charming town of Tavira, and sampled some of the region's delicious seafood. As my trip came to a close, I felt grateful for the opportunity to explore such a beautiful country and meet so many wonderful people. Portugal had exceeded my expectations in every way, and I couldn't wait to come back and explore more. If you're looking for a destination that offers stunning scenery, rich history, and delicious cuisine, Portugal should be at the top of your list, with its warm weather, friendly people, and endless adventures. It's the perfect destination for any traveler. The End
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.